Good evening and welcome to the Lady Cats Den here at Hazen Union High School playoff action tonight. It is your Hazen Union Lady Cats hosting the Winooski Spartans tonight in the opening round of the playoffs. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. The LNSD.org, jumpstart your future. Try and get myself set up here. Jim on camera tonight. Opening tip. Controlled by the Lady Cats. Up quick. <laughs> Student section out in full force. Here's Tessa. Caitlin Davison gets it back to Alexis. Caitlin. Once again, Tessa. In and out for the barefoot Contessa. I thought she had that one. Rebound Winooski. Spartans on the move. Shot up and in. That was uh, number 20, Gene Heights, putting the Spartans on the board. Two zip lead here. Tessa, uh, Caitlin one taking the three inside. Haley Mitchell, off, high off the glass, doesn't go. Rebound, Ella Gillespie. Tessa can take a shot again. In and out once again for the barefoot Contessa. Rebound, uh, Emily Frigi for the Spartans. Sinai Stewart McIver. Puts up a shot. Three pointer they give her. Five zip lead. Mitchin underneath. Can't get it to drop. Rebound. Caitlin Davison. Back out. Ella. Thought about taking a three. Pitches it over Alexis. She'll take a three. Off. Lady Cats. A little bit of cold shooting here in the start. Opening moments. Puts up a shot off. Caitlin Davison corrals that rebound down. That was uh, Stacy Tarong putting up that shot. Caitlin wanted to go coast to coast. Runs into Heights. Uh, actually, it was uh, called a, they called a foul on Bridget Rogers. Inbounds. Lady Cats from underneath her own hoop. Back. Mitchin catches that one. Tessa, back to Caitlin. Over to Alexis. Short. Tessa trying to come down with that rebound. Does get it. Caitlin sets back up. Wants to drive. Double team. Back out. Tessa takes the three. Makes the three. The barefoot Contessa. Just like that. Cuts the lead to two. There's the defense. Alexis with the steal underneath. Caitlin dips underneath. Reverse. And it's 5-5. Five -five. With 5.50 left to go in the first half, uh, first quarter, that is. Stuart McIver was looking inside for uh, Rogers. Here comes Julie DeGroslier in, and Ella Gillespie will come out for the Lady Cats. Stuart McIver underneath on the inbounds. Gets it to Frigi. Frigi. Back over Rogers. I think that's Rogers, is it? No, that's not Rogers. That was, uh, yeah. Rogers, yeah. Number 10. Tessa up underneath. No, rebound. Winooski. Caitlin gets the steal. Pass up ahead. Alexis Christensen. Goes underneath, nice pass underneath. The girls there, and Gene Heinz going to be called for a block with a 5-5 score right now. Hazen inbouncing underneath their own basket. Here's Caitlin. Travel called. These teams play twice in the regular season, uh, Saturday the 14th of January here at home, we beat them 65-15. Tuesday the 24th, we played over at Winooski, beat them 71-29. Tight going so far, though, 5-5. Playoffs, anything can happen. Shot up, doesn't go. Mitchin. Winner of this game will face Oxbow on Saturday at 2 p.m. I believe it was Oxbow beating, uh, I think it was Bellows Falls last night down in Bradford. 
And they're going to call the Barefoot Contessa on the travel. Stuart McIver inbounds to Heinz, gets it up ahead. Long shot, not good. Rebound off. And Ella's going to go back in, and Caitlin's going to come out. Take a breather. 4.24 left to go in the first. Tie ball game, 5-5. Five five. Here's Stuart McIver. Gets it over to Rogers. Bridget Rogers underneath. I don't know if that was blocked, I guess, or did she lose it? I don't know. It happened kind of quick. Mitchett, Tessa, off the glass. The barefoot Contessa with five points. Gives the Cats their first lead of the game, 7-5 with 3.55. Left to go here in the first. Stuart McIver throws up a three, doesn't drop. Caitlin Davison with the rebound. KKK Caitlin goes inside, pitches it out. Gillespie wants to drive, throws up a shot, in and out. Rebound Stuart McIver. Traveled. And Julia's going to come back in, and Haley will get a break. And Coach Jeff Robinson wants a timeout with 3.34 left to go here in the first. It is your Hazen Union Lady Cats leading the Winooski Spartans in the opening round of the playoffs here tonight at the Den. Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont. The accolades coming in. Uh, Coach of the Year, Mountain Division, Randy Lumsden. Mountain League Player of the Year, Caitlin Davison. So. Nice efforts there by our teams. Randy, of course, uh, first year as his uh, varsity coach, doing really, really well. And the other thing I wanted to point out is uh, Haley Mitchell was the 2023 Vermont Presidential Scholarship for the Career Tech Education uh, category. Went down to the State House, collected some a nice certificate, and uh, got honored that way. So congratulations, Haley, on that. On and off the court, they are stars. Celebrated our three seniors, uh, Haley Mitchin, speaking of Haley, and Ella Gillespie and Alexis Christensen, the last home game. Going to miss seeing those girls play. Tessa, Tessa, the barefoot contessa, second three-pointer. And now they have doubled up the Spartans, 10-5. There's a steal, Tessa with the defense. Caitlin underneath got bumped. And they're going to call, I believe it's Rogers. Referee Randy Yandel with the call. Rogers' second foul. Caitlin at the line. Caitlin short. Hazen finished with a record of 18 and 1. Caitlin's second shot, nothing but net. Caitlin, three points on the night. Steal, short, rebound. Ball's going to come out. It's going to drop. And referee C.J. Powers says Winooski ball. Finished at 18-1. and one. The lone loss on the season was way back Friday, December 9th at Enosburg. Lost by score 50-41. to 41. The girls won every game after that they played after that. Caitlin getting in front of that pass. Hesitates, goes in, splits the double team, gets the roller. Caitlin Davison, five points. 13-5. Cats press. Stacey Tarong, nowhere to go. Tries to throw it off. Alexis Christensen stays in. Gets it up to Stuart McIver. They got across the timeline. Here's Richards. Rogers streaking in. Can't get it to fall, though. And that was Gene Heinz trying to get the rebound. Nice way, nice play to get it over uh, half court and get a, a quality shot off. Or the Spartans on that uh, press that the Lady Cats threw at him. Inside, Rogers can't handle that. Tarong. No, that wasn't Tarong. That was uh, Frigi. Missed shot. Rebound, Hazen. Good crowd tonight for our red out here at the Den. There's Caitlin. Mass inside. Look at that. Julia de Groslier. 
her first points of the night. Julia, just a freshman. This is going to be fun. Fun to watch her over the next few years. Long three-pointer, nothing but net for Stacy Tarong. Makes it a 15-8 game. The JV girls for Hazen finished undefeated this season under first-year coach Allison Blaney. So the future of Lady Cats basketball is bright. Boys will close out their season tomorrow night here. Hopefully, if the storm doesn't hold everybody off against Randolph, they'll have their senior night. And then uh, boys' playoffs will start next week. And we should have a minimum of one game here at the Den. McIver throws up a long shot. Doesn't go. She's got great range. Girl can throw it up from anywhere. Davison puts up a three. Short. Rebound Stuart McIver. Strong gets it inside to Rogers. Rogers. Rebound. Ella Gillespie. Up ahead, Julia. Turn around. Ball goes off. Gene Heinz got right in front of her. Isabel Gowan checks in for Hazen. And we've got. Who do we have go in there? Muthai Tao. Or Muthai Tu, I'm going to go with. For Winooski. Here's Rogers up. Doesn't drop. Rebound. Tessa. I tell you, Tessa Luther is having a game out here for us tonight. She's got eight points, a bunch of rebounds, some great defense. Right there, rebound. The barefoot Contessa back up. The junior. Tessa's one of those players that, you know, I call them lunchbox players. They, they don't do a lot of flashy stuff here in the stats. They bring their lunchbox with them for every game, and they are out there working. But right now, Tessa, ten points for the barefoot Contessa. Cats up 17-8. I mean, Tessa can score, but she's not a, a what you call a prolific scorer. But right now, she's red hot. Tessa going to take a three. That went over. Rebound Heinz. But Alexis Christensen gets it away from her. Christensen takes a three off the rim. Tessa in underneath with the rebound. Tries to go back up. DeGrosier gets it. Still can't get it. Ball plinkoing around in there. Winooski comes up with it. Here comes Rogers. She's speedy. I want to see her and uh, Isabel in her foot race up and down the floor here. Here comes Christensen. Three seconds, too. Going to have to throw it up quick. Gillespie throws it up. Oh, three-pointer. Gillespie with the three-pointer right as time expired in the first to give the Lady Cats a 20-8 lead over the Winooski Spartans in this opening round of the playoffs. Wow, what a shot. Love it. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera tonight. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. So, yeah, once again, while well, I've got time to really get this in, I just want to highlight this. Um, Mountain League Player of the Year, Caitlin Davison, and Mountain League Coach of the Year, Randy Lumsden. And it was Haley Mitchin getting that 2023, 2023 Vermont Presidential Scholarship for the Career Tech Education category. I believe she's going for HVAC uh, College out in New York, if I remember right. So very, very cool. Great stuff. Cats looking to punch their tickets to the next round and play Oxbow. All right, here's Rogers. Spins, runs into Gillespie. Are they going to call Gillespie on a block? They're going to call Gowan on a foul. Says referee Dennis Bowden. And that'll send Bridget Rogers. She's a junior to the line. Fast girl. Fast girl out here. Speedster. Rogers first shot off.
Second shot, doesn't go, rebound, Ella. Tessa, up to Isabel, dips underneath, puts up shot, Isabel Gowan. She's a freshman. Lady Cats the lead, Cats press. Don't look away, stuff can happen. Wojewski trying to beat the press. Turnover. Ball goes out of bounds. Hazen back on the attack. 7.25 left to go here in the first half. Cats in control, 22-8. At one point, trailed 5-zip. They're early in the first. Follow-up, Alexis Christensen again and again and again, and she stepped on the line. And that will turn the ball over. Tarong on the inbounds. Gets it right to Julia DeGrosier. And Alexis Christensen wide open for the three off the rim. DeGrosier tries to get the rebound. They're going to get the ball to Wanuski. Haley Mitchell checking in. Julia comes out. Coach Lumsden getting a great effort from all his players tonight. Cats press. Here's Heinz. Gene Heinz inside. Rogers wide open. Turnaround. Can't get her shot to fall. Rebound. Alexis Christensen comes up with it. Here's Isabel inside. Back out. Gillespie gets it over. Tessa. Back to Ella. Far side, Isabel. Cats swinging it around. The drive, the bump. And they're going to call Tessa on a travel. As Heinz had great position for defense right there. Tarong on the inbounds. Gets it to Heinz. Here's Tarong up ahead. Off, a shot off by Muthao 2. Thay 2, sorry. Muthao 2. Muth A2. Inside, looking inside for Haley. Got a hand on it. And Sanai Stewart McIver comes back in. And Stacy Tarong, a freshman, playing well out here. We'll get a breather. Heinz up ahead, Rogers. See if anybody catches her. Oh, Alexis catches her. I I've always said Alexis has very deceptive speed. It doesn't look like she's moving real fast, but she covers a lot of ground. Great closing. Great closing speed on that one to knock that ball away as Rogers was looking for the easy layup. Alexis didn't give it to her. Stuart McIver on the inbounds. Shot by Rogers short. Rebound Caitlin Davis, and she's back in. Up ahead, Isabel. Isabel trying to drive in on Heinz. 5.51 left to go in the first half. Cats up 22-8. Caitlin. Three-pointer. KKK Caitlin. Eight points for Caitlin Davison. Pass inside, Stuart McIver, turn around, spins down. Five points for the sophomore. 25-10, your score. 5.15 left to go in the first half. Alexis takes the three, makes the three, nothing but that. Alexis Christensen, her first points of the night, but she's played some outstanding defense. Coach Jeff Robinson wants to take a full timeout with 5.04 left to go here in the first half of the Cats with a commanding 28 to 10 point lead. And I'll tell you, it was, I, I love to tell this story. It was on this day, one of my favorite sports memories. I don't know if you remember this or not, Jim. In 1980, the Miracle on Ice from Lake Placid. You, you know, the USA team beat the uh, USSR. I remember vividly watching that game and what we had the advantage of up here where we were with, with the way the Hardwick cable system back was back then, it was just a series of antennas up on top of Bridgman Hill. But we got Channel 12, which was CFC, CFCF TV out of Montreal. They carried the game live that afternoon. If you remember, ABC showed it on tape delay that night. 
my dad and I and a lot of other people here in town watched that game live that afternoon on Canadian television with Canadian broadcasters. It wasn't the famous Al Michaels, Do You Believe in Miracles call. It was a much different call. Um, but we watched it live that afternoon, and, and it was just one of those memories I, I will never forget sitting at our counter watching that game with my dad live that afternoon. Of course, that didn't give them the gold medal. They still had to beat Finland um, that following Sunday. And after two periods, the U.S. team was down 2-1. And in between periods, uh, Herb Brooks went in and said, if you guys lose this game, you will take it to your graves. You will." He, he said it a little more colorfully than that. But he said, you will take it to your graves. And the USA went out and won 4-2 to win the gold medal. Underneath, Gillespie. Ella Gillespie, five points for the senior. Uh, hard to fathom that was 43 years ago. Time flies when you're having fun. Taking away Caitlin off the glass. Caitlin Davison. 32-10 your score. 425 left to go in the first half. Stuart McIver takes a long shot. That girl could shoot it from the parking lot, I think, and hit the rim. Tremendous range. Gillespie inside. Hailstorm back out. Christensen makes the three. Alexis Christensen, second three of the night. Makes it 35-10. 3.54 left to go in the first half. Wanuski, after leading briefly early in the first, has now been playing a lot of catch-up. Bridget Rogers loses her dribble. Caitlin goes down. They got their feet tangled up. And they're going to call Rogers on the foul. Looks like they got their feet tangled up. And I think that's Rogers, either second or third. Third foul for Bridget Rogers. In checks Emily Frigi, and Rogers is going to come out and rest for a little bit. With 3.39 left to go in the first half, three fouls. Very quick player for the Winooski Spartans. Sarah Collier, and now for Lady Cats, Caitlin Davison. They're just, and then they're throwing up, they're hitting another three pointer. 38 10. Student section wants defense. Stacey Strong working on Alexis Christensen. Christensen bumps. Sarah gets a hand in there. Frigi inside. Taken away. Davison. And take another three. That one off. Rebound. Frigi. Well, Stacey Strong. Looking inside for Stuart McIver, but uh, Haley got a hand on that to knock it away. Cats just firing on all cylinders. Look at the pass. Couldn't get it. Collier in with her own rebound, though. Looking to get it back out. Gets it to Caitlin. Beautiful pass from Caitlin to Collier to get that shot. Here's Alexis Christensen. Three-pointer. Three. Three-pointers three for the A to the B in the Christensen connection. 41-10 your score. And stepping in front of that one is Caitlin Heinz Sonner. Caitlin in for the shot. 43-10. Cats putting on a clinic of offense and defense right here. Passing, shooting, defense. You name it, they're playing it tonight. They're playing it well. Ella and Alexis have come out. Uh, Bailey goes in. And uh, we have the Barefoot Contessa back in. Galen in front of that pass once again. Defense, nice defense by Emily Frigi over there to get the hand on it real quick. But they're going to call Frigi on a foul on that one. I thought it was decent, but hey, what the heck. 
We have a number 25. I have no number 25 on my roster for the Winooski Spartans. So we're going to go with number 25 and for the Spartans. Tessa, the barefoot Contessa. This is on that shot. Rebound. Winooski. Heinz. Gene Heinz running the point now for the Spartans. Gets it over to Rong. Long three-pointer. And it all kisses off the glass. Gets a shot. Her second three-pointer for Stacy Trong. She's a freshman. 30-point lead for the catch with 140 left to go in the first half. 43-13. Back out. Caitlin. Nothing but nets on that three-pointer for Caitlin Davison. 46 13, 125 left. Crowd calling for defense. Caitlin, once again, we've seen that, I think the last three times down, Caitlin's gotten in front of the pass. Beautiful over to, to the Barefoot Contessa for the layup. The Barefoot Contessa. 12 points for Tessa Luther tonight. My advice for the Spartans, do not go to Caitlin Davison's side. When you're on defense. I think Caitlin's going to call for a foul on that one. And, okay, there goes Bailey. Sure, I'm sorry, Sadie, Sadie Scorsted went in before. Bailey's in now. Yeah, Sadie's right now playing the ball. I got there. I, I saw the five and uh, didn't see the one. So it's uh, Sadie Scorsted. And playing the ball on Tarong. And uh, Bailey's in there now. She got. Yeah, Bailey's in there. Okay. I really, I know what I'm talking about. Truly. I promise. Number 25 for Winooski. Gets it over to Heinz. Gene Heinz. Back over to number 25. 25 takes a long three. That one's going to go for short. Going to fall out of bounds. And with 45.5 seconds left to go here in the first half, it is your Hazen Union Lady Cats leading by a score of 48 to 13 here in the opening round of the playoffs. Travel. I'm call scores that on a travel right there. Coach uh, referee Randy Yendel with the whistle on that one. Inbounds. Tarong. 35 seconds left. In the first half. Gets it over to Heinz. Heinz back out to number 25. Shot up, all over, rebound Tessa. We got 18 seconds, plenty of time, no need to hurry. The barefoot Contessa backs out. Thought about taking the three. Number 25 in on defense, Haley. <laughs> Haley Mitchell gets herself in the scoring column. 50 to 13, four seconds left, three. Tarong's going to have to take one from way outside to get this up. She tries to block down by Schorsted. And at the end of the first half, it is your Hazen Union and the Lady Cats with a commanding 50, 30, 50 to 13 lead over the Winooski Spartans here tonight from the den at Hazen Union High School in Heart of Vermont. Once again, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Jim on camera. We'll be back in time for the start of the second half. All right. So we are less than a minute away from the second half starting here at the Den. Hazen Union High School in Hardy Vermont. It is your Hazen Union Lady Cats hosting the Winooski Spartans in the opening round of the playoffs. Hazen with a commanding 50-13 to 13 lead. Get you some unofficial scoring here. For Winooski, it's Stacey Tarong with six. Gene Heinz with two. Sanai Stewart McIver with five. For Hazen, we got Isabel Gowan with two. Tessa Luther with 12. Alexis Christensen with nine, three three pointers. Uh, Caitlin Davison has 18. Julia DeGrosier is two. Ella Gillespie, five. And Haley Mitchett with two. All unofficial. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsor tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472 5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center gmtcc.lnsd.org as Hazen misses a couple shots right there and here is Sanai Stewart McIver bringing the ball up. Pass over Gene Heinz. Jim on camera tonight. Winner of this game goes on to play Oxbow at 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Shot short, rebound Hailstorm. Brings it up. Alexis Christensen underneath, off the glass. She can score two pointers. 
11 points for the senior. Stuart McIver, great range. Shot short, or off, I should say. Rebound, Caitlin. With Gene Heinz back. Caitlin dips underneath. Draws the foul. Shot and the foul. She'll go to the line to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Heinz tried to get in her way. Caitlin kind of dipped underneath through the block. Short on that one. Heinz with the rebound. And ball thrown away, and this will give the ball back to the Wildcats. Nice save on the sideline by Mike Dumman Baker. Pass inside, Gillespie off the glass. Cats just clicking on all cylinders tonight. 56-13, your score, 640 left to go in the third. Once again, the two teams did play, tw uh, they, we played uh, each other in the regular season here and at Winooski. As Gillespie underneath, shot short, rebound, and there's uh, Bridget Rogers back in. Saturday the 14th, we had Winooski here at home, won by a score of 65 to 15, and played them over in Winooski on Tuesday the 24th of January, won by a score of 71-29. And Rogers picks up her fourth. Barely two minutes into the third. Blocked out by Davison. Doesn't go. Rebound. Here's Stuart McIver. Hailstorm out on her. Drops a pass over Heinz. Back to Stuart McIver. She's going to try another three. That one's going to go short. And we've got Christensen bringing the ball up. Here's our Mountain Division Player of the Year, Caitlin Davison. Pass inside, Tessa. The barefoot Contessa. Talk a little bit about our seniors. Uh, let's see. I'll start with Ella because I don't know a lot about Ella Gillespie. She came down from Crassbury. She's part of that deal where, you know, if your school doesn't have the sport, you can <clears throat> go to a neighboring school and play. Um, but from what I've seen, team player, great attitude, hustler, worker, and uh, a definite addition to the team. Gave us some nice height underneath. She can shoot from outside as well. There she is with the ball right now. Gets it over to Haley. Haley from the foul line short. Rebound Rogers. So I, I would say all in all, Ella has been a fantastic addition to the team this year. Winooski has the ball go off her foot. Gillespie picks up. Heinz back on defense once again, gets the ball up. Gillespie, second effort. Nine points for Ella Gillespie. Uh, who else we got on here? Haley Mitchell. I remember watching Haley when she was a freshman, and she would get in there, and you know they wanted to play underneath and stuff, and she was scared to death. Looked like a deer in the headlights out there, and just to see her confidence grow over the years and the way she plays now and everything. I mean, she is a force underneath there, both offense and defense. Does some great uh, ball movement right there. Turn around, please drop for me once again. There we go. That's what Haley brings to the table each game for your Lady Cats. And, of course, our, our last senior, Alexis Christensen, the A to the B in the Christensen connection. Uh, just a great player. I remember first seeing Alexis down in elementary school playing in the Hardwick tournament. Turnaround blocked out by Christensen. Once again, she brings a lot of different dynamics, um, does everything well. I remember her in the uh, Knights of Columbus free throw contest. And, uh, of course, the three-point shooting is prolific right there. There's Christensen with the rebound. And, like I said before, deceptively fast. Gillespie underneath. And Spartans just have nothing right now for the Lady Cast to, to stop them. It's 62-13 with uh, 3.25 left to go. Gillespie takes that one back to Davison. Over to Christensen. 
Christensen, short shot, doesn't go. Davison with the rebound. Puts it back up between a pair of green shirts, doesn't go. Rebound, that was Emily Frigi with a rebound. Gets it over to Stacy Tarong. So, you know, our three seniors really contributed a ton to the program over the years. Not, you know, not only this year, but over the years. Just some great athletes. Alexis played soccer as well. Great scorer in soccer. And we're going to have a mass substitution. Shot, three-pointer. I didn't see who took it. Was it Tessa? I think it was Tessa. I was looking down at all the bodies coming out onto the floor. I'm going to give it to Tessa, 65-13. Tessa Luther, 15 points on the night. And there's what she does. Defense, gritty on the floor, making the plays. And we got a bunch of subs coming in. Uh, I see Isabel, I see Sadie, I see Bailey, I see Sarah, I see Julia DeGroslier. Going in for your Hazing Union Lady Cats with 2.12 left to go in the third. Cats up by a score of 65 to 13. Travel by Sarah Collier. Winooski has yet to score in this quarter. 155 left. Tarong doesn't make it. If I have done all my figuring right, Winooski has not scored in this quarter. Turnaround to Grosier. Good. Julia to Grosier. Four points. 135 left to go here in the third. Tarong inside. Heinz. Jean Heinz. Girls here on her. Gets it back to Tarong. Tarong wants to dribble. Throws up a shot. Draws the foul. Should go to the line. Shooting two. See if we can get this Spartan some points this quarter. Or if she can, I should say. Not on that one. Tarong does have two three-pointers from earlier in the game. Still nothing. Cats still pitching, pitching the shutout here in the third. Bailey Christensen back. Scorstead. Sadie Scorstead, another player who came down from Crassbury. She's a junior. Let's see if we have her next year. Scorstead puts up shot. It goes. I believe, judging by the crowd reaction, I think that, I, I mean, I haven't done all the games, so I, I don't know if that's her first points or not, but got a nice round from the crowd on that one. Wanuski losing that one. We score 69 to 13 with 45 seconds left in the third. Is Isabel Gowan inside? Heights. Gonna, Isabel going to be called for the travel. Referee CJ Powers with the whistle. 36 seconds left here in the third. 69 13 your score. Winooski held scoreless so far in this quarter by the Hazen defense. Bridget Rogers playing with four fouls. Spins. Rogers once again. So make something happen. Turns, ducks, shot, and we got a foul. Foul called on Isabel Gowan, and it'll be Bridget Rogers going to the line with 16.7 left in the third. That one does not go.
Second shot does not go. We're gonna line up and shoot it again. We got a violation. Says referee Dennis Bowden. Rogers off the back of the rim, strong. Rebound to Grosier. Here's Gowan. 10 seconds left in the third. Is it over? Inside to Grosier. Turn around, doesn't go. To Grosier gets a rebound. Heinz comes down with it. One second left. And that's going to end the third with the Cats going up by a score of 69 to 13. Winooski didn't score in that quarter. Great defense by your Hazen Union Lady Cats. You're watching Lady Cats Playoff Basketball here on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hazen Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jim on camera, Lance Hall with the call. Winner of this game goes on to play Oxbow on Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, let's see, what do we got? I, I mentioned that Randy was uh, coach of the year in the Mountain Division. Caitlin was the Mountain League player of the year. Haley Mitchard, our 2023 Vermont Presidential Scholarship winner. 1980, we had the Miracle on Ice in Lake Placid. It's Ash Wednesday. And let's see, it was on, on this day in 1879, the very first F.W. Woolworth store opened in Utica, New York. And if anybody remembers, back in the day, there was a Woolworths store down in Barry Montpelier in the shopping center. There was like Woolworths and Zares. I think it was like Big Lots and something is now. And they had a snack bar in there, you know, one of those old-time snack bars. This was an old-time store, you know. And for my then-girlfriend in high school's junior prom, I had her convinced that we were going to go for dinner before the prom at the snack bar at the Woolworths store on the Barry Montpelier Road. Had her convinced until I pulled into the parking lot and said, nah, I'm just fooling. We ended up eating at a, there was a, at that time, the, one of the nicer places uh, for Chinese food down there was a restaurant called the Rendezvous over in Barrie. And that's where we ended up going for dinner that night was over at the Rendezvous. Foul called on Julie DeGrosier. It's going to send uh, Sanai Stewart McIver. But yeah, on this day, 1879, the first ever Woolworth store opened in Utica, New York. Looked like they were going to get a point. Stewart McIver, second shot. Rolls in, and there breaks the scoring drought. With 7.40 left to go in your ballgame. Pitches it over, Bailey Christensen, in and out. Rebound, I can't see, they're fighting for it. Rogers and Bailey Christensen were on the ground rolling there. <laughs> Referee Dennis Bowden blows his whistle. Calls the girls here on the push. Spartans with the ball underneath their own hoop. Bailey gets in there, stays with Winooski. Oh, it's also George Washington's birthday. Just celebrated. Everybody had President's Weekend this past weekend. Today, officially, George Washington's birthday. Christian gets a foot on that. The girls here trying to get in on that one. Does, knocks it away. Stuart McIver trying to get the pass. Inside, the girls here turnaround up over two Spartans. Off the glass. Julia de Grosier, six points. Seven minutes left to go in your game. Cats up 71 14. Collier with the pickup. Collier, Einon Heinz, pass over. Nope, off the bottom of it. Out comes Rogers. Bridget Rogers. Isabel Gowan tied on to her. Stuart McIver, she'll take it from there. No, she won't. She'll pass in. Tipped away. Bailey comes down with it over to Collier. Collier in a foot race coming up through. Pass over. Scores dead. Back to Gowan. 
Bailey Christian and Sarah Collier. Cats moving around. The girls there inside. Turn around. Stuart McIver can't do nothing with it. No, she did. And they're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Lady Cats. Collier on the inbounds. Drops it in. Stuart McIver gets a hand on that one. Disrupt. Foul called on Sarah Collier. 6-12 left to go in the ball game. Cats up 71-14. And Collier uh, once again getting a little aggressive out there. And uh, I believe we're going to be shooting one and ones now as that was the seventh uh, foul committed, team foul committed by the Lady Cats. Going to send Gene Heinz, the senior, to the line. Heinz with two points tonight. Heinz doesn't drop. In and out. Did everything but went through the hoop, as James Salvis would say. <coughs> Gowan up. Here's Collier. That double dribble, yeah. I thought she threw a hop or a skip or a jump or something in there. Rogers tries to pass inside Gowan right there. What are we going to have happen here? And that's Rogers' fifth foul. It's going to foul her out. So Stacy Tarong going to come back in with 5:38 left, and your lady gets up 71-14 as Bridget Rogers fouls out. Number 25 goes in for Winooski. I have no name for that young lady. And Moo. Day two comes out. Gowan to Collier. Isabel drops it over to girls here. Back out Collier. Sadie Scorstead working on number 25. Nice ball movement by the Lady Cats. Running some clock. Takes a shot. Why not? Bailey Christensen. The B to the A. And the A to the B. Christensen connection. 73-14 you score. Five minutes left. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we'll be playing Oxbow here at 2 p.m. this Saturday. And yours truly, Lance Hall, will be here with the call. I got a little bit of time off from work on Saturday. Christensen inside. Bailey Christensen. Makes it 75-14. That went off. Rebound to girls here. Gets it to Isabel. Isabel push. Slows down. Inside to girls here. Wanted the turnaround. Grabs it. Isabel wide open underneath there. Off the glass. Isabel Gowan. Makes it 77-14. 4.15 left. Muthay Tau, Muthay Two, getting ready to come back in. Stuart McIver launches the three, doesn't go. Collier wanted to go coast to coast, goes over to Gowan. Gowan dips underneath, nowhere to go with that. The girls there comes up with it, turns around over Heinz, doesn't drop. Rebound out. We got Emily Freegi with it, gets it over to Stuart McIver. 335 left to go in your ball game. So once again, tomorrow night, uh, hopefully, turn around, Tarong, ball drops through. Stacy Tarong. Eight points on the night for Stacy Tarong. Freshman for the Winooski Spartans. Collier throws a shot off the rim, rebound. Freegi. Uh, hopefully we get the boys game in tomorrow night. They were going to be playing Randolph, their senior night. Storm coming tonight and tomorrow. We'll see what happens. School's already been called. Um, we'll see what happens with tomorrow night. And it will be your Hazen Union Lady Cats 
hosting the Oxbow Olympians here at the Den this Saturday afternoon, 2 p.m. Foul called on Stacy Tarong to punch her ticket to go down to the odd. Could we have both teams going to the odd this year? I would say that is well within the realm of possibility. Turn around. The girls here underneath. Heinz just really trying to play good defense. She's doing all she can. Once again, Hazen did play Oxbow back on December 16th here at home. We beat them that game 65-48 back when the win streak was on that. Pushed their win streak to two. They went on to win 18 in a row. They'll make it 19 after this one. Foul call on Isabel, her third. Once again, the Hazen JV girls team went undefeated. So, uh, liking what we see out here. Stacy Trong at the line. Hits it. Nine points for the freshman. Makes it 79-17 with 2.31 left to go in the ball game. Hits them both. You're excused from 6 a.m. free throw practice tomorrow, Stacy. Number 25, playing on Scorestead. Here's Isabel, gets it to Collier. Back outside, Scorestead. Dips inside to Groslier. Nice cut, Isabel Gowan. Beautiful play. Shot thrown up, doesn't go. Isabel. And they, they're going to call Tarong on a foul. I don't know. It looked like Isabel kind of tripped over her feet, but. Randy Endell standing right there. I'm not going to argue with him. I'm not going to put on a striped shirt and go out there. No, no, no. Never in a million years. One fifty left to go in the ball game. Cats up 81 18. Christensen off the rim. Rebound number 25. Gets it up to Tarong. See to Tarong. Puts up a three. Doesn't go. Rebound to Grosley. 130 left to go in your ball game. Up ahead. Scorstead dips underneath. Shot short. Rebound. I don't know how Rogers got back in there. I thought she fouled out. Unless there's some sort of a provision for a big enough lead. I don't know. I have no clue. One minute left to go in your ball game. Double dribble. Rogers going to make a move, throw up a point. Foul called on Bailey Christensen. 59.9 seconds left to play in the ball game. Rogers off on her first one. Rebound, Hazen. I tell you what, I gotta say, for the Spartans, I think Gene Heinz has played a whale of a game out here. Hasn't gotten discouraged. She's out there playing tough. Trailing by 70, but still just, you know, playing. All the girls are, really, but I, I've just sort of, I think Heinz has played well. She's, she's gone up against some tough competition inside there and hasn't backed down at all. Tarong's a gamer. Rogers. But when you go up against the buzzsaw like we have right here in our Hazen Union Lady Cats, who will push their record to 19-1 and now and host the Oxbow Olympians this coming Saturday in a quarterfinal game here from the Den, looking to punch their ticket 
to the odd. You got your work cut out for you. 25 seconds left. I'll say the same for Coach Jeff Robinson. He's down here, he's coaching, he's smiling. I'm seeing him, you know, he's talking to his assistants, he's talking to his players. Coaching. One short. Back in, off. Christensen tried, or Scorstead tried to save it. 11.3 left. Here's Rogers up, throws up shot, short, saves it back in. Muthai Tao off. We're going to have a foul called with two seconds left. It's going to send Muthai Tu to the line, shooting to foul called on Julia de Grosliers. Doesn't go. That one drops, and with that basket, the Lady, the Lady Cats have held this Winooski Spartan team to six points in the second half. 81-19 is your final. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsor tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, Sports 72, 5522, We Sport Hayes Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Jim on camera. We'll be back hopefully tomorrow night for Randolph and definitely Saturday at 2 p.m. when it will be your Hayes and Union Lady Cats hosting the Oxbow Olympians in the quarterfinals. Winner goes to the odd. You want to be here for that. We'll see you next time. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.